Hello, I'm Paul Johnson and I make unique pop-up books. This is the second part of a workshop to make a carousel pop-up book. When it's finished, it will look like this. It's the four rooms of a house, living room, kitchen, bedroom and bathroom. The first room, the living room, we made in the first part. Let's have another look at that one. There it is. And you need to have done the first part of the workshop to move on to this second part, because the folding and the joining is the same for each one. Just two points before we start. Firstly, the paper size must be the same for each of the four rooms. And secondly, you need to do all the artwork before you glue the pages together. So let's have a look now then at the second room, the kitchen. Here it is. Oven on one side, a refrigerator with a microwave over the top on the other, and a cabinet in the middle here. So I've done the basic uh, lines for the cutting there. So just going to cut, just hold this open, just cut up the black line there, cut up the black line there, fold this forwards, this, unfold it and push that up on the inside and there we have say the oven on that side and on the other side I'm going to cut lines again and make them slightly different so not exactly the same size to have a bit of variety there cut, cut fold that up unfold it Pop this up on the inside, and there, say, is the refrigerator on the other side. Now I'm going to just go back to the cover here. Here is the uh, refrigerator popping up on the inside, and in the middle of here, I'm going to make a smaller box, cut, cut, just fold that forwards like that, unfold it, pop that up on the inside, and there we have the microwave. Finally, the cabinet, there's a line there, there's a line there, we're going to cut those and fold this over like this, unfold that, pop that up on the inside and then we have the finished kitchen there. Now when we come to the next room, the, the bedroom, it's slightly different because we can't actually make the bed from the single sheet. That has to be glued in separately over here. But this little cabinet, bedroom cabinet, we can make from the single sheet. So let's make that first. I've done the, the lines there and I'm just going to cut there and cut there. I'm going to just fold that forwards like this. Then I'm going to fold that pop up in half like this. Drop it down again, open it up on the inside. I'm going to pull the whole of the shape, first of all, like this. And then I'm going to push the middle bit there, inside there, like this. And there you get the two layers of the little cabinet on the side. Now the bed we're going to make from another sheet of paper. That sheet needs to be the same size as the wall of the house. I'm going to fold this in half the long way and I'm going to cut uh, that in half along the, along the crease there. And it's going to be a little bit too long I think for, for the bed so I'm just going to just fold over a piece there something like what's that one sixth say something like that of the whole length although that's not uh, critical it doesn't matter really how much you remove from there so it's something like this for, for, for the, the bed. I'm then going to lay the ruler against the edge, one, the short edge, and just crease the glue tab, that's for gluing on there, and the glue tab on the other side, just pull that up over the edge there like this, sharpen those creases there, and then I'm gonna just fold something like that. That'll make the front of the bed. Now, there's one very important thing here, and that is that we, if we glue the whole of this bottom strip of the bed down to here, we glue that in over to there, it's going to glue down 
to the the base, and we, we um, the base up on the far side. We don't want that because then we can't close down the pop up. So I'm going to remove the right side of the glue strip here. So I've just taken that off there, and then I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to each of these uh, these little strips here, like this, and then we can glue that into here. Now, the the position for gluing this in is this. The height of the bed should be the same distance as the floor to where the bed is going to go. You might want to measure that. I'm just going to guess that there's something like this. Put that in here. And then when that's all dry and set, then it would look like this. Now we come to the, the bathroom. And like the bedroom, we can't make the bath from a single sheet. We can make the, the wash um, stand here. Uh, from the single sheet, but we can't make the, the bath from that. But let's make the wash stand first, because that's something which we can do just with a pair of scissors. And you see I've made those two lines there. You see they're slightly tapering, just to give a little bit of variety to the shapes we make. So that all the shapes are kind of like squares or rectangles. So I'm cutting there, there like this, creasing that up, drop that down, open up on the inside, and we raise that into the middle, flatten that down. There we have the wash basin on that side of the base there. Now the bath needs to be made from a sheet of paper the same size as the wall of the bathroom. This time we're going to fold this in half the short way, not the long way. The bed was the long way, the bath is the short way. Sharpen that crease. I'm just going to then just cut that in half with the scissors. And we just need one of these two pieces. It's going to be a bit too long, I think, so I'm just going to just take a bit off. So I'm almost arriving at a square, something roughly approaching a square, but that hasn't got to be exactly the same as it. Sharpen that crease, and I'm just going to cut this uh, off the edge here. And then I'm going to crease the, the glue tabs. So one on that side and one on the other side here, like this. Just ease that up, let's sharpen that crease there. And then I'm just going to fold the, the side of the bath like this, so then we have a shape like this. And then that's going to go, I'm going to glue that into here. Now, in the same way as with the, 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 the bed, we can't have the whole of this bottom strip here glued into the base, because we won't be able to close it if you do that. It must not cross the middle diagonal crease of the base. So I'm just removing that piece off here and I'm just going to apply uh, this glue again just along those two strips there and there. And then I'm going to lay this in here just as it would be glued in like this. There's, there's the position for gluing in the bath there. And then when that's dry, when that's uh, set, then we have this one here, there's it all finished with the bath and the washstand in there. That completes the, the four rooms in our house, and so it completes the carousel book. The next stage is to join the first room, the living room, to the kitchen. So the back of the, uh, the first, uh, the first uh, room, it's the living room here, that would be glued then to the, the back of the, the next room. There's my kitchen here, it is. Here's the kitchen here. So we glue the back of this to the back of the kitchen, and so on, bedroom and bathroom. That joins the four rooms together. Can you see that with this model here? I've made a card cover, two, two separate pieces, slightly larger than the actual pages of the book, and I've glued the then the, the, Front, um, the right, the left side of the, of the first room, and the uh, far side over here. Glue that down here. We've got this all glued into position there now. And then I've just made um, little holes uh, through the edges of the of the card here, and I've threaded some some cotton through there. And then when we open this, we can just tie a, a bow, rather like tying a. I'm sure I there it is, and that will hold the carousel together, just like a fairground carousel. 
Now, to finish this workshop, I'm just going to show you a piece of my own work, one of my own carousel uh, clock art books. Here it is, and the story is loosely based on Ernest Hemingway's The Old Man and the Sea. Let me just uh, open the front here, open the whole book, and there are the four spreads, as we call them, the four double pages. Let me just hold it up like this and you'll see have I got the uh, arrangement here, just the same as yours, to make the complete book. Now, the books we've just been made is really just like one sheet, isn't it, from each of the pages, each of the spreads. This one has got something like 300 separate pieces inside it. I've really enjoyed sharing this pop-up model with you. And I hope that we can meet again and have another exciting time making a pop-up. Until then.